How's it going, my dandelions? Welcome to my time at Porsche. Now, I've had my eye on this game for quite a little while now, and luckily, we we're able to get it. Now, this game reminds me a lot of like Stardew Valley and a mixed up of a couple things, even kind of like Dragon Quest Builders in a way. Um, it is a farming game. Uh, you can get romantic encounters, all that fun jazz. Uh, there's a huge, huge storyline. Um, it's been updated for a couple years now. Uh, I've just been really eager to playing it, so we're just gonna jump right into it and check it out. Now, one thing I do really like is the fact that it's pretty much fully voice acted, which you'll see soon. I did play this for a little while already, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose all the options that I chose for my character before. So, voice three. I like that one. Sleep. Yeah, I like that voice better than the deep voice. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. Or the high I voice. Think I, think I think I'll go talk with the research center first. I think I'll go talk with the re And then for hair. <laughs> Bless me. Oh, you vague. Felt that coming. For hair, we'll even either go with this one or we'll go with this one. I think we'll go with this one because on the character I played for a little bit, I went with the other one. Oh, I didn't know you could ex What? Wait, what would that, what would that look like? Oh my gosh, it looks so funny. That looks so cool. Yo, definitely rocking that right there. Can I make it a little more like... Yeah, there we go. That looks nice. Face type, I think it's faces, alright. That makes him look quite young. I never really looked at these before, so... Oh my gosh. Oh my god, you can actually make a guy look hella weird. That'd be amazing. I think that's a starting face there. I'm just gonna go with this one. Kind of reminds me more like Jimmy Neutron. I like it. It's quite nice. Not gonna complain. Upper face, eye color. I have like more of like a greeny brown eye color. So weird. I don't know why it doesn't change colors. There you go. It's kind of it's kind of like a little bit. I don't want to say the word, but it's a little special. All right, there we go. We're just gonna go with that. I'm not really gonna mess up with too much brow thickness. We're gonna shrink it down. Definitely don't have huge brows. Uh, brow position, and make them a little lower. There we go. Brow shape, I think we're gonna go with a little bit like that. Make them look a little more natural. Our nose is cute, our mouth isn't too bad, so I'm fine with all that stuff. I don't need anything here. You could do like scars, but you'd have to color them, but I think this is completely fine. I like the way my guy looks. I'm not gonna complain, just gotta change our name to Daniel. But guys, if you do enjoy this, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff down below. Um, I'm going to have my birthday be, I think, the week of the fish event. I think that'd be pretty cool. We'll do it on a Friday. We'll say this is my this is my birthday. Fish day. This is the f my favorite event. I played up to here, then I stopped playing. I was like, all right, I'm definitely going to record this. So we're going to say that's going to be our birthday. It's definitely a weird... I don't even know what number I chose. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, I'm definitely going with that, but... We're gonna jump into it. This is a super fun game. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I think you guys will deeply enjoy it, and I hope the audio is okay for the game as well, so you guys can hear it. And it is on sale if you guys want to get it now, due to the like summer sale or whatever that Steam has. And it's not that expensive, so I would definitely check it out. This is definitely a game I think a lot of you guys are gonna enjoy. the voice acting I think it's easily one of my favorite things in this entire game I think it's super special and super cool especially because every freaking character guys and I mean every character has like a, their own voice so they put a lot of time into this game I was trying to freaking voice act the uh... oh I'll be quiet I guess I was trying to voice act a specific game but I can't manage to do it I needed help but oh well Presley how do you do ah good to see you again hope you had a pleasant journey <laughs> from Barnarok, right? That's quite far. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. Same. No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. 
He was a good friend. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna follow Presley here, and he's gonna lead us to our area. But look at how big this world is, first of all. Like, I haven't done, like, almost anything in this game, so I'm super excited to see what you can do. Uh, I guess we're already having a cutscene. And here we are, your workshop. This place sure has seen some wear and tear. What do you think? Looks homely. You're right, looks homely. Now then, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. Daniel, when you read this letter, I'll already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This was all so sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about the workshop. It might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I have left my workshop handbook and the details how to create things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy, Pa. Here's the workshop handbook of your Pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Alright, so... Unlike most games, you have to earn your right to build and all that fun jazz. So our first oh, goal right now is to go ahead... Hurts. Oh, I didn't sleep well at all from the breeze coming through those cracks last night. So our first goal right now is to go and basically get our builder's license so we can really do stuff. So we want to fix the gaps and everything so we can get full energy. Like we gotta do all these fun things but we can't do it until we complete the first few quests. Now, I'm gonna be a cheeky bugger and I'm going to collect the resources I need to be able to make the first few things. From Porsche Times, this is Porsche Times responsible to the University of the Government where local commerce and guild brides are the latest news in our city for free. We are a monthly profile for the paper and we sent out to the day of the month. If you have any questions and concerns, please do not hesitate to visit the office on Main Street. Portia time is done. Alright, so we're going to get letters and stuff like that just from daily activities. But we're going to get started just like every other game. We're going to start harvesting up some lutations. Now there are some berries and stuff there that I don't care about. I'm going to say hello to this guy. Who are you? Are you a spy for the Duvos Empire? Huh? You're just the new builder. Suspicious. I'm pretty good at many trades, but not great at anything. So the man gives me a lot of odd jobs, which I enjoy. So it's cool, you can give them gifts, you can spar them and fight them, and you can actually win rewards. Um, you can play rock, paper, scissors, or you can just leave him alone. So I'm gonna leave him alone. Don't really care too much about him. So I don't oh, wait. How do I always forget this? I forget that there's a chest. There you go. So there's the gloves that we can get to fight stuff with. Give us a little extra damage. But I'm gonna grab up all these little twigs and stuff because we're gonna need them in order to build uh, what he wants us to build right away. So, we're gonna see, I think that's all that. I'm gonna say hello to everybody that I can. You're that new person. You just inherited that workshop outside of town, right? Oh, sorry, where are the manners? I'm Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Now that you're part of our gossip team, you have to tell me where you get your outfit. Standard procedure. So, that's Sonia. She's one of the people that you can actually date. There's Lee. Actually, there's one girl that I want to go after, but I don't know where the heck she is all the time. She always disappears. You say hi to Pinky. Pinky the stray cat. Can't really see her because I'm on top of something, but there we go. There's Pinky. Now, I'm going the wrong way. Where I gotta go is just over here. This guy's a douche. Sorry for my language, but he is. And here we go. Nice to see you. How are you settling in? Great! Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then. Let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. 
Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. You need to have wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the total tools in Central Square. After you have the raw materials, you need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your paws with one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. So there you go. So he wants us to go ahead and make a pickaxe and an axe, like any basic game. Here is a commerce uh, commissionary. This is when you get your builder's license. You can actually accept jobs from here. I think it's really cool. Anthony is one of my favorite characters here. I know who you are. I'm Antoine. Or Antoine. We'll be seeing each other a lot. <laughs> I, I just like Don't his personality. Don't the of the work and the business. I keep track of every order. The hardest part is I have to stand all day. Oh no, I just think he's freaking awesome. And he's fabulous, of course, come on. He looks great. So if I hold shift, I can actually sprint. That way I can get to places faster. This guy here looks so cool. hi -o. You must be the person the mayor was talking about. I'm kind of simple, but I hope we can be friends. Dr. Zhu likes to ask me a lot of questions like, How did you learn to speak? What do you eat? Or where did that bruise come from? So that's Oaks. He's probably going to be my best friend in this game. Just because, again, he looks awesome. He's literally wearing bear skin. So he's probably like an absolute legend. So we're going to go ahead and build up a pickaxe and an axe. What do I need for the axe? I need more stone. Okay. So we'll craft a pickaxe, which is good because then we can just go gather up some stone. So we're going to gather up all the stone that we can. There we go. And it will automatically go into my inventory, which is nice. I'm gonna say hi to Emily here. Hey there! I'm Emily, your next door neighbor. It's so nice to have new people move into our town. You oh, she should stop by my ranch sometime, she said. I wonder what I can do to help her. That was my fault. I didn't mean to cut her off. Sorry, Emily. Don't push. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to push you. Alright, we're gonna grab all this stuff. And hopefully that's enough to make myself an axe. And the thing is, there's no durability in this game. So I don't really have to worry too too much about things breaking, which is nice. Um, I need one more piece of wood. Dang. Guess we're gonna have to explore a little bit. Well, we didn't have to explore too far. We only had to go to here. There we go. Perfecto. Gonna get this quest done as soon as possible. That way we can really start building. And now I know my shop looks really tiny. Um, and it looks kind of run down. I don't know if you can upgrade it or not, but you can buy more land. Uh, it's quite expensive, but we're going to save up for the fishing tournament thing. And we're going to make absolute bank because your boy's a god fisherman. So it translates over into this game too. Our rats, we got our tools. So basically what I could do is I could go around and harvest resources and stuff like that. Just by doing this. Now you're going to hear a lot of spam clicking and I apologize for that. That's just how I am. There you go. Okay, Nora is one of my oh, interests. Hi Are you new here? I'm Nora. I'm a missionary at the Church of the Light. Nice to meet you. I think she's super when I cute. I in Portia. I learned to slow down and enjoy the surrounding view. But yeah, she's one of my love interests, 100%. Super cute, Nora. And then I like Ginger and I like Alice. So those are the three girls that I'm trying to go after. I just don't know how to really do that. So all I do is I talk to them daily and all that fun jazz. Oh, I've never seen him actually. I've never seen Preston oh, sit down. Excellent quality. Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Hmm. If I remember correctly, your park. All right, we're gonna skip through it because we don't want to waste time. So he wants us to go build up a stone furnace. So now in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to go ahead and collect quite a few things. So we're going to go do that right away. Who are you? Hey, I'm Toddy. It's a fisherman. You're a new builder, right? It's always nice to have more builders. Todd. Toddy. Got great catches today. I highly recommend the golden salmon. Fresh and delicious. Dude. Todd, you're going to become one of my favorite people because you're a fisherman. And for people that know me, I love to fish. Oh, that is the wrong tool, Daniel. There we go. There's our first level up. So with the levels, you can actually do some cool things. So if I hit H, 
Well, if I hit I, sorry, I hit H brings me up to my relations tab, so you can see all the people here. There's a lot of people. Like, there's actually so, so many people. Like, oof, that's a lot. But we're gonna go in here, and this is where we can do our skills and all that fun jazz. So over here to the left is our experience, our health, stamina, endurance, attack, defense, critical chance, melee, critical strike, and range. I didn't know there was range, actually, until I just read that. I never read this side before, but I did just for you guys. Now. First things first, we can go with fighting skills, gathering skills, or social skills. Now, I really like the social aspect here. You have a 20% chance to receive one additional relationship point when chatting. I think that's really huge. But for early on, um, I think these two are going to be really good. It's going to decrease the stamina by 25. So whenever we use our axe, we're going to decrease our stamina by 25% less. So normally we take a big portion of it, now it's going to take a lot less of it. Right. Okay, I was going to say, I don't think we can break that rock. Which it shows that we can, so that's good. I'm going to break this one here. I'm going to try and gather up as many resources as I can, as fast as I can, before the day becomes night. Because you do have to sleep in this game. I don't think there's a penalty, um, as much of a penalty as there is in Stardew Valley, where if you don't sleep, your character just passes out and then you wake up with a lot less re uh, energy. I think I have to fix up my house. I think that's the one I can't break. Yes. Um, but I think I have to fix up my house first. I do want to go do that before you run out of energy. Oh, do you guys see what I see? I actually see... I did not know this was here. What did that give me? Just give me a hundred freaking gold, what the heck? Yo, let's go. We take that all day every day, but look how big this game is. You can literally go all the way over there. Everything you see, you can pretty much go to, which is insane. This game is humongous, and it's really beautiful. I think it looks super good. I'm excited to get started with my time with Porsche. I definitely think we're going to have a great time. I'm going to try and get a thumbnail if I can. So, Q. Right-click dodge roll. Left-click the attack. Middle mouse button. Okay, we're just gonna get rid of all this so we can get a thumbnail clicked on. Alright, so I don't think we're making anything in here. I forgot what he wanted me to do. Oh yeah, he wants me to go do this. That's what it was. And he wants me to build up a stone furnace. So what we gotta do is we gotta add 10 wood. Possibly we already have that. Yeah, we got 33, which is fantastic. So we're going to have to cycle over it and put it there. And now we want one stone tool. So we're going to have to go inside here and find where on earth a stone tool is. Right there. Craft one stone tool. And I'm going to go into my inventory and put it on my bar. I'm going to have to circle over it. Place it down. And there we go. We got ourselves our little stone furnace. So that's perfect. You can go ahead and put this down somewhere. I'm going to put it like right here. Alright. Uh, this furniture can be turned with T. Really? I didn't know that. Here, let's try to pick it up. Oh yeah, that's cool. I didn't know that. I don't care for it, but we'll do that. Let's try to get our thumbnail now. Let's put it just like right here. Boom. Thumbnail picture taken. Voila. Now we can go ahead and complete our builder's quest, I think. So we're going to go run all the way to the guy. Oh, oh wait. Who are you? Oh, no, okay. His sis- that guy's sister there is the main chick, Ginger, that I want to get with. But I seriously can't find her anywhere. So we're going to talk to Presley here. Job. You, this is your He's going to give us our builder's license, and now he wants us to go talk to the mayor. I would have let that play out. But I really need to go fast because the mayor is leaving his office and I don't have to wait forever. I just seen him. He's a little chonky dude. Right there. Ha! Welcome, welcome! You must be the new builder. I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. I'm here to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? We're gonna name my workshop Rosewood. I think it's a, just a nice name, honestly. I love roses. Um, we got a lot of this, so I think we're good. Yes, there we go. 
So Rosewood, Builder Daniel, birthday on the 12th. Okay, that's what I said my birthday is. Um, yeah, nice. boom. Hey. There, your registration is complete. Thank you. Also, we're going to have a fireside town meet once in a while. Uh, yeah, so basically he's telling us uh, you're going to be having a meeting where everybody kind of gets together and they chat about what's going on in the town and what they want to change in the town. One thing I do want to show you guys, which is kind of cool, I like this idea, is you're able to kick big trees. So we'll go to this big tree here. I actually kick it, so I'm going to kick it like 10 times and it's going to give me like some items. And sometimes you can get a rare item, which is this specific honey and it sells for quite a lot. Let's see if I get one. No, didn't get one. Alright, we're gonna go kick another tree then. Oh, we're out of stamina. No! Alright, I guess we're gonna sleep it off then. But yeah, so there we go. That's that. Our next build is going to be... We need all the basic items. So we need a grinder. We need a civic... A civil cutter. And then a basic... This one. I've never had that one. But I've got all the way to get these ones. So this is gonna be our next build. So what we need for that is three copper bars two grindstones, and two old parts. So in order to get that stuff, we're gonna actually have to go dwelling into the mines, which I think is really cool. So, we need just two of these? Is it two? I don't know. I don't wanna touch anything yet. I wanna get some of these built. There we go. Getting uh, an inventory chest right away. Also, it says rosewood right there, which is really cool. So maybe we'll take another thumbnail. Here, let's do that real quick. Get another thumbnail real quick, guys. Boom. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to try and fix up the flooring. I think I should have waited a little bit. I don't have three wood. Okay. Maybe before we cancel this, we could go in to the town. I think they sell wood quite possibly. So we're gonna go see if we can go buy some wood so we can fix up our home. I'm out of energy, so I'm not able to do it myself. So let's go. This is the first time you're gonna see the town too, so it's pretty cool. And you can literally go on everything. Like you can adventure really well. Hello, Lucy. I don't see any of the ladies that I'm interested in, so feels bad, man. All right, perfect. This is exactly what I want. 20 wood. I, def I need more of it, but it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and sell all this stuff. I don't know what it's for, so I'm just gonna sell it. Bring us back up to the 200 bucks. We could buy a mining helmet, which is really useful because it gives us light in the mines. I'm gonna talk to these guys. Stop by if you need any supply. Goodbye. Let me see. Hey, I'd love to visit the beach. Trying to get to know everybody that I can real quick. Hello. Once I said I wanted to be the strongest. I like his shirt actually. I just noticed that. I think you can buy some really cool stuff actually from these people. Sir. Let's try and check out the clothing store. Yeah, so you can get like clothing. I think you need levels for it though, so that's kind of the downfall. I um, mean you get dyes, you can get some rugs and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Get diapers, I'm guessing you can have a kid then, which I didn't know, so that's kinda cool. Yeah, alright, we're gonna go head back home and we're gonna call an episode, guys. We got the wood, so maybe we can fix up our flooring. That'd be quite nice. But here's Alice, here's one of my love interests. I haven't seen you around. You are? I've been working on my novel. It's slowly coming together. Yeah, she's one of my love interests. I think she's cute. And I like her name a lot. She kinda reminds me of Alicia, anyway. And we're so lucky, our house is literally right here. Alright, let's go fix up our home and then call it an episode. Hopefully we have enough wood. I know the one bundle area is a lot, like this here. Yeah, it costs us all 20. So we only need six more wood. But guys, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all, stuff down, all that fun stuff down below. My name is Daniel. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is my time at Porsche. I really am excited for this game. I think it's going to be super fun. Oh, and it seems super fun, so I'm excited. Uh, 
I didn't sleep well at all from the breeze coming through those cracks last night. So my guy's a little upset. He did come back with a lot more energy. Normally it would have been 100 if we didn't fix up any of the flooring. So luckily we did that. But guys, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff down below. My name is Daniel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support me, follow us on Patreon, all the fun stuff down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!